Howdy, 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 my darling Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for June. All right, lovely. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Aquarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. All right, and be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. All right, Aquarius, so you get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. Okay, and then other than that, let's just jump right into your tarot reading here today, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys at this current point in time. You have the Page of Pentacles coming out here, the Page of Earth coming in the back of the deck here. This card talks about good news about financial matters, wanting new, wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study here. All right, Aquarius, I feel like you guys haven't fully tapped into your power yet. I feel as if if you guys were to, I mean, you know, it's like opening up like a new stream of revenue, opening up to a new project here. I feel as if if you guys were to lean into this new energy more because pages refers to new energy you would have blessings on top of blessings here i feel as if you will be very financially blessed for those that pick up their own personal projects it's like you being able to finally take control of your money uh more here i see for those that choose to do this a lot of financial blessings coming in for you from a social dynamic right because page of pentacles can refer to someone extending out to their pentacle to you darling in this type of dynamic here i feel like you're going to have an option um for you to work with somebody else as well and in some type of collaborative manner here. I feel as if be anticipating some type of communication. It might be the sense of, it's. I see it in two ways. The sense of bringing closure to a situation um, that was pretty rough, weighing heavy on you here. All right, finally closing out a cycle with somebody that you cared about deeply at one point in time, but you have to move on to bigger and better horizons. I feel like this is someone that you in a way just you feel as if you outgrown them in the least condescending way possible you feel like not that they're beneath you but it's just like you see them for where they are at at their current point in time in their path and that's just not for you is what i get it's like this is just not for you anymore and so um i get like some closure in that way you have the world card coming in here archangel michael my favorite archangel to work with here this talks about a job well done, contentment, joy, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment here. You guys are closing out a phase in your life, right? Because the world card talks about the closure of one cycle to begin a completely new cycle of the fool's journey again. <clears throat> Not me losing my voice, darling. And I feel as if how you close out this cycle in your life here, it's like this cycle of a period where you were not in control of your finances anymore. All right, it's like closing off the period of like a financial drought is what I hear. Closing out the period when it comes to, again, relationships that you have greatly outgrown, I feel. I don't know why, just like as a side message, uh, Aquarius, be aware about people asking you for money <laughs> is what I get. Be aware about people asking you for money or be aware about what people are asking you this week, Aquarius, because I feel as if there's like someone that's going to be coming towards you, approaching you from a place of wanting something from you. And they may not be forthright in the way of just being like, oh, Aquarius, can I have some money? All right. So be aware, be paying attention to people's intentions at this point in time here. But um, yeah, Aquarius, you guys have some big changes coming in here not a card sticking on my arm darling you have the knight of air knight of swords coming in here this is the fastest moving knight aquarius all right out of all the knights this card says events moving at a very fast pace take time to carefully review your options and consider creative solutions all right so this leans back into what i was saying beforehand when it comes to that page of pentacles energy darling right where uh, I feel as if for those that take control of their finances in a way where it's just like you're starting your own hustle here, Aquarius, I feel like some of you start your own hustle through some type of creative endeavor. And then that's how you get a lot of financial blessings coming in, in your way. And that's how you close out that cycle to begin that cycle of a financial drought or financial struggle to then begin this new financial uh, storyline for you where it's a, a lot more blessings involved here. All right, but there is this um, message here as well when it comes to the Knight of Swords of making sure your mental health is taken care of. All right, some of you guys might be going through imposter syndrome. You might not want to open up new streams of revenue, picking up on new projects to give yourself further advancement in your finances due to the fact of your own insecurity, financial, or not financial, um, 
what is that word imposter syndrome all right my aquarius is always y'all i always i feel like i have to reassure you guys aquarius and like how good you are because a lot of people for whatever the reason is people give so much hate to aquariuses and i feel like they're just the most under, misunderstood sign here all right and so um i don't feel like you have a lot of people that celebrate your greatness i don't feel like you have a lot of people that uh really help you feel like you can take on the world and do whatever it is that you want to accomplish all right so allow me to be that person for you darling all right we then have this ten of fire ten of wands coming in here for you all right this talks about too much work uh going on accept help from others life is out of balance stress related health concerns here aquarius all right and i'm happy to see it in this dynamic here because thankfully one um Ten of tens represents closures to cycles, Aquarius. And then you consider with this world energy here, you have two different cards talking about the closure of cycles. So I don't feel like this is this ten of fire energy here is what you're going to be dealing with. I feel like that's what's going to be coming to an end here. All right. I see really good news. I usually don't talk about health or pregnancies and stuff like that in my readings because I just I don't find that ethical. But in this dynamic here, I do feel as if for those that have been going through a really trying period when it comes to your health, especially physical health, like I don't know why I get like pains starting to uh, lessen up. Uh, what is the word? Just lighten up, darling. I don't know why I'm struggling, honey, speaking. Um, but yeah, so this is really a beautiful dynamic here because it's like letting you know um, this period of struggle for you, this period of where there's just been uh, a lot of weights just been put on your shoulders coming to an end here. All right. And I feel like it comes to an end due to that page of er pentacle energy, that opportunity to create money, to create finances through other means, especially for those that do some type of self-employed endeavor. All right. So you really have a strong opportunity. Like it's like you're you have a, such a strong opportunity to really bring forth a lot of financial blessings into your life should you lean into it i have a sneeze coming aquarius so if you hear me starting to sound funny it's me trying to resist the urge all right <laughs> let's do one more bridge shuffle before we clarify this okay so we have firstly here the queen of wands i mean naturally darling right the queen of wands she's the one that follows in her passion all right she's the one that unapologetically uh does uh what it is that she wants to do here again there's just like this major blessing to my aquarius is that choose to pick up some type of personal craft something that they feel personally passionate about for those that have been feeling like they cannot do their nine to five anymore i'm not telling you to quit your job darling let's get that first and foremost like taken care of all right i'm not telling you to quit your job but what i am telling you to do is diversify diversify your income to the point of where you no longer need that nine to five if you have been been feeling very unfulfilled or even going through this period of I feel like some of you guys have been feeling a little bit burnt out especially when it comes to for those that have already started their own uh new uh personal endeavors when it comes to money i feel like that period is going to come to an end a little bit soon all right but i will suggest to those that you just are okay with it all right um i will suggest for those that are okay with it to burn some dragon's blood all right that's something that's just coming to mind here dragon's blood incense i feel like you would really benefit from that especially if you are going through some type of burnout here all right but the more that you are unapologetically Aquarius, the more that you are the Queen of Wands Aquarius, the more profitable your life will be here. You have the Priestess energy coming in here as well. All right. And so you guys have been getting intels um, from the other side, darling, when it comes to your passions. Be paying attention to your intuition at this time. All right. You are you have a hunch. You, you have a hunch about something. All right. You can't you can't justify it in the sense of like physical means like you have no physical evidence for this hunch that you are feeling but you lean into it pay attention to it you're not crazy about this there's a reason why you're feeling this hunch especially for, when it comes to those communicating with you in the coming days because i feel like there's like someone that has like an ulterior motive that you are aware about all right but because there might be a little bit hidden when it comes to their intentions initially 
you're kind of just like you you know so just know that you're not crazy allow this card to really uh validate you in that way all right because it's like someone's true colors someone's true intents are finally going to be revealing themselves to you when you always kind of knew all, all along that something was up you have the four of swords coming in here as well y'all are really being called to uh take a period of silence and anytime i think about that i i mean because i'm a quirky little witch honey or whatever you want to call me <laughs> um I feel as if this is more so of an alignment that spirit has something really important to be telling you personally here. All right. I don't feel like you can get this message from a tarot reader. I don't feel like you can get it at this from a psychic reading. Even if you were to like, like, even if you were to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, Aquarius, I don't think I could relay the message. I feel like it's a message specifically meant for you that spirit has been trying to get you to notice that spirit has been trying to get you to hear and then it like, they're only going to be expressing it to you in specific. All right. And so if you are spiritually practicing, if you're not, then just call me crazy and move on. But um, if you are spiritually practicing on some level, all right, take a period of silence and uh, start asking your spiritual team to reveal themselves to you in more obvious ways, showing up in your dreams or whatever it is that is that it looks like for you. But something has been trying to get your attention here, Aquarius. Some, there's like an important message that you need to hear from your spiritual team, from your spirit guides, and whatever it is that you personally align with and you don't want to miss that message all right and so yeah <clears throat> let's see if i can get some clarity on like what it might be about seven of rings seven of pentacles coming in here so your investments all right this goes right back into financial means here i get like this impression of where it's just like spirit suggesting to you where to invest your energy into right so i'm not a financial manager or advisor darling obviously i'm just a man that reads some tarot cards but um i get like this sense for you guys where it's just like if you were to just listen to your intuition about where spirit's trying to direct you you really could like that's where like the financial means really picks up for you here it's like it's like you're sitting on lottery numbers essentially here and your spiritual team is trying to get you to be aware about that so yeah darling that's the tarot reading that i have for you aquarius hopefully some cards in here resonated with you on some level if it did let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign aquarius if you want to book a private trading with me my website's linked down below simplyvelka.com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simplyvelka but until next time aquarius i love you so much darling bye